I don't attack people on their color. I don't attack you because you are a, a white woman. I don't attack you or not. Uh, comments that maybe offends you on your page because of your color, sexual orientation or whatever. I judge you on your actions. I don't respect violent traditions based on hatred and discrimination like the consumption of certain animals. The animals on this planet are there for their own reasons. They are not here more um, for us than white women there are for white men or black women there are for white men or whatever or blacks are there for whites or homosexuals are there to be uh, there for punching backs for uh, aggressive uh, heterosexists. <laughs> there are for their own reasons here. And sexism is wrong. I know that just like I know that racism is wrong or misogyny, but speciesism is just as evil. And maybe even more, because there are more and more, more victims. The death count is far higher. If you are not a victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not a victim, it becomes pretty easy to mock your victims and make fun of their entire existence, label them stupid and dirty. Say that they don't are important, that they are replaceable, that they are, are an object, a commodity, a love on their suffering. No. Well, you are the victim. No. Things look a little different from that point of view. If you are the internet, you can easily go vegan. If you are not on uh, internet, you also most likely can easily be vegan. Because veganism is the most cheapest lifestyle. And don't uh, fool me with me, you're playing mind games. Potatoes, rice, uh, pasta are the most cheapest items you can buy. Nothing can compete with it, even with the subsidies that go to the meat dairy and egg industry. Just like bananas are also cheap. So don't play mind game for me about that. You have a kilo of bananas uh, for one euro. And here in the country where I live. And in America, is not so much more expensive, according to the people I know in America. So stop making your choices. Stop making excuses for things you also don't want that others make excuses when you are the victim. It is unfair to ask for things you are not willing to give. That's immoral. It is inconsistent. And saying you deserve rights just because you are belong to the same species is just, say, just like uh, saying um, you do you serve rights just because you are from uh, the same uh, ratio, rational uh, background or uh, saying that you are from the same gender. Now, if you don't like to hear what I have to say, then it is your problem, not mine. Don't twist it around. 
don't place words in my mouth. In my mouth, I have not say. Because you don't want that I slander you. I suggest. And if you are changing your ways of animal abuse by dietary choice, I stop wishing anything happening to you. I wi stop wishing that you get kidnapped, that you are get murdered by people like uh, uh, people similar like Ted Bundy or Jeffrey Dahmer, whatever. Now, it is on you. But as long as you are causing suffering, I see not why my wishing is anything worse than your actions. Understand you? I am the reasoning, reasonable person here. I am the one that is willing to change his positions on violence against certain people. When the rapists stop raping the animals, I stop wishing rape on to the rapists or the rape rapers. When murderers stopping with murder, I stop wishing they get murdered. When rodeo people stop abusing the animals, I stop wishing things like that there become executed or that some um, serial killer break in their uh, hideouts and slice them in pieces or piece them like they are do with uh, the innocent bulls in the rodeo. And if vivisection doctors stop with the experiments on the animals and start supporting animal rights instead of animal abuse, then I will stop wishing that vivisectionists get debilitating diseases and that money that can maybe be helped to cure them. It's so wasted on the unscientific fraud of fifth section. Now, it is on the abusers to change. Hamasan! When darkness and light become up, your reality spins away and the truth become visible. <laughs>